The traffic officer Yav Barruta has succumbed to his injuries one day after a knife attack by a terrorist in Baldo City. Tourism experts fear a negative impact of the attack on Tunisia's tourism sector. Terrorism is a global threat. What happened in Bardo is an isolated attack. We hope that it will not lead to a cancellation of flights to the Tunisian destination. Tunisia is a safe country even after the stabbing incident. MPs have urged foreign countries to support Tunisia and to encourage tourists to visit its beach and desert resorts. Tourism is Tunisia's first source of income and foreign currency. The knife attack took place one day after the terror attack in New York. It shows that terrorism can hit any city. I believe that Tunisia's foreign partners will not issue a travel ban. This would hit the tourism sector. Tunisia will always welcome tourists. The Interior Ministry arrested dozens of Tekfiri militants. The authorities say there is no link between the border city attacker and international terror networks. There is no proof that the terrorist belongs to ISIL. The investigations will reveal if there are similar plots. Security forces are ready to respond to any potential threat. The assigned Ziad Gharbi is 25 years old. His neighbors say he was radicalized in 2014 by watching ISIL publications from Syria and Iraq. In the Friday prayer, thousands of mosques will denounce the violent terror attack and call for solidarity with the security forces. Over the past six years, thousands of young men and women were brainwashed by watching Al-Qaeda and ISIL propaganda videos on social networks. Security experts believe that the war on terror does not only take place on the battlefield and in the mountainous regions where terrorists are hiding, but also in the virtual world. Adnan Shereshi, CGTN, Tunis.